I recreated Darius' Q ability in Unity. You perform an X-Wing animation where hitting an enemy within the outer radius damages them and heals you for a certain amount. As for the inner radius, it makes it so you can't damage anything. If you're lazy like me, you can buy and download the Unity package below in my Patreon shop. If you've been following the 2023 MOBA series, this is kind of a continuation where I try to recreate League of Legends champion abilities. Big thanks to all my Patreon supporters, and with that being said, let's dive right into the video. This is what the folders will look like if you were to import the Unity package. For Darius' Q ability, I only need one script to have it run along with the essential scripts like movement, stats, mana system, health UI, camera manager, and billboard canvas. I also imported an X-Wing animation which was straight from Mixamo. I also played around with the speed on how fast I wanted to swing, so that decision is totally up to you. Looking at the 3D canvas of the player, I have two UI indicators, one being the inner radius and the other being the outer. I set the inner radius to black so it's more noticeable in the game while keeping the outer radius red. Going to the player, you can see I've attached the Darius Goobility script to it. Before diving to that script, let's look into the stats script. In here, I want to point out that I'll be using an input key down to damage my player so I can showcase the healing part of the ability. I've also commented this part out from the original MOBA series since I won't need to have my enemy die at this point. On the movement script, I separated the move script into two variables, an original speed and slow speed. The slow speed will happen when performing the ability and then it will reset to the original speed. I created two voids, a set speed and reset speed. Now for Darius' Q ability script, I'll first go through the variables. I have ability key set to keycode.q. The cooldown is set to 5 seconds. Mana cost is how much the ability consumes. Here I set it to 30. I also define the outer radius and inner radius to determine the area affected by the ability. Heal amount and damage is for the player's health and enemy's health. In the UI section, this will give feedback on the ability cooldown. Ability image main shows the main icon, and ability image grade shows the grayed out version when on cooldown. Lastly, the ability text will display the cooldown timer. In the awake method, I initialize the components like animator, movement, mana system, and the stats. I also set up the UI right off the bat with initialize UI. This method makes sure that everything is set to default until activated. Next, in the update method, I check for input, cooldown updates, and UI updates continuously. Handle input specifically waits for the key to be pressed and checks if it's a cooldown and it has enough mana. In preparability, if I have enough mana, it'll enable the canvas, deduct the mana cost, and trigger the axe swing along with slowing the player down a bit for the animation. On swing hit is called during the animation event. It checks for enemies in the outer radius, but not inside the inner radius. It then damages the enemies and heals the player by getting the necessary reference in the stat script. After the animation is complete, on animation complete is called in the animation event. I reset the player's speed and hide the ability canvas. In stock cooldown and update cooldown, it's kind of self-explanatory. The cooldown timer is initiated and the timer starts to tick down. This keeps the ability from being spammed. In update UI, I adjust the UI elements based on cooldown and mana availability. This gives player instant feedback on the ability status. Finally, I have initialized UI which was called in the awake method, making sure the UI and text is cleared and the canvas game object is set to false. Lastly, I added this visual feedback in the scene window. On draw gizmo select it helps visualize the attack in the editor, which is super helpful when you want to tweak the variables of the inner and outer radius. Back in Unity, make sure you fill in and add in all the necessary components to the script in the inspector. Onto the animator window, I have a trigger going from any state to the Darius Q animation. And looking at the animation itself, scrolling down to the animation events, here is where I'll call the on swing hit and on animation complete. I'll play the game and damage myself by pressing V so you guys can see the healing in action. When I press the Q ability, it swings the axe animation while the outer radius is enabled and on top of the enemy. You can see that it damages them and it heals me at the same time. If I were to move closer and have the enemy within the inner circle and swing the axe, I won't be able to damage the enemy and heal myself. Lastly, I gave myself a pretty fast movement speed, so when I press the Q ability, you can see my character slowing down as he does the axe animation, and then go back to the normal speed. That is all for this video. If you guys have any suggestions on what champion ability you want to see next, comment down below. If you want to get the Unity package to this project, you can go buy and download it in my Patreon shop. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.